Hey YouTube, it's your boy Dakota Hawk coming at you with another Hawks Outdoors video. Excuse the raspy voice, not gonna lie, kind of just woke up, didn't get to bed till early this morning. So today, a, today is a very exciting day. Um, today is going to be a product review. Um, about a month ago, I reached out to the people over there, Cremo, and asked if I could do a product review. They said yes, and this is what I chose. Hot, hot, got hot water, guys. I chose the Cremo uh, Spanish Horsehaired Brush, and the, and the reasons why I've chosen the brush. Amongst their, amongst their other products is because I haven't seen many YouTube videos about it and you just don't hear much about these things at least I don't you know you got your boar you got your badger you got your synthetics but I don't really hear much about these so we're going to review this brush today we're not going to use a cream we're going to use a puck because I want to show you guys uh, how well this brush is um, I have used it twice uh, just to test it out before I get into a video. Okay, first impressions of the brush. It has some good weight to it. It really does. Uh, I'm comparing it to the Vando Hagen brush. It is smaller. It's, 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 it's a smaller brush, but it's not too small. I thought that it was going to be too small, but no, it actually, I mean, I got big hands. Um, it has some good weight to it. it the the uh, bottom is plastic. But it's a dense, hard plastic. It's not a cheap plastic by any means. And on the front, it has the Cremo logo. Um, has a little divot at the end. But other than that, that's it. Uh, when you first get it out the box, it doesn't have, really, it doesn't have a musky smell uh, as you would have with boar or badger. It really doesn't have that wild smell. So... That's really good, as well as what I noticed is right out the box, it kind of, I'm not going to say that they pre-broke it in, because I don't know that, but I will say that um, when I got it out the box, it felt like it was broken in for a week and then shipped to me. Um, it, was, it, 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 it was a very soft brush right off the box. Uh, speaking of box, I want to read... Some, show you guys the box and what and what the box looks like. So this is how it comes in. You guys want to pause that and read that you you may. But the box is just like the other products. It's very pleasant to look at. Yeah. So here we go. Wet the brush. We're going to use the cold conk today. So, I'm medium heavy on the backbone. Just my opinion. I've only seen one other review for this brush, particularly. And they claimed that it was a light backbone. But I'm, I'm going to say it's medium heavy. Uh, it lathers well I have like it's 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 more stiffer uh, it, it I believe that it creates a better lather than what the uh, Rando Hagen does now no granted yes they sent me this to review but I'm not gonna lie to you guys if it if I didn't like it I'll tell you guys but I, I was actually uh, in, impressed by this brush uh, to be honest with you and I watched the other guys review while I was waiting for this to get to me. I didn't think I was going to like it. So I was really, really shocked about the quality. The quality is actually it's really good. Uh, and the feel, and overall, it's just a really good brush. So, I'm going to bone my, my fingers and my face to get water on my face. <laughs> it's really hot. I don't know why I'm, I am make the water so hot, guys. Lord. Okay. So, big shout out to a fellow 
named Fred. He's the one that I talked to to help set this up for you guys. Uh, very, very nice gentleman indeed. Very helpful. Has a lot of patience. <laughs> Fred, if you're watching this, brother, I appreciate it. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, very good brush. You know, uh, normally, or at least what I thought is the smaller brushes have like a, like when you push, they'll like automatically go flat, there's no backbone. But this is a very well balanced brush. You know, it's, it's soft, but it has, you know, pretty good backbone for it. Put some water. And, how am I supposed to put this? You know how, you know, you do, I, I do the dry brush method with this. I did it with this. This loads a lot better. In other words, when you actually just, you're not making a lather, you're just loading it. I feel that this loads a lot better. Alright, we're gonna make a hole in the middle. Add some more water. Have a look at the ladder that it created. Very good ladder. That brush does help create a very good ladder. And I know it's the brush uh, because y'all guys know I have problems with the cold kong of kind of creating that nice thick rich ladder. I did that with no problem with the uh, with the uh, Cremo brush. That's a hot blade. So let's go. So how have you guys been? What you guys been up to? I um so Let's talk a little bit more about the brush. Um, but yeah, the, those those no scent whatsoever. Um, because you know, like some brushes, you get the musky scent, and you have to like wash it underneath the the, the sink, or you know, some people sometimes it's so bad you actually got to use dish soap to get get help get rid of it right off the box. Right out the box, you can dunk it in water, hot water of course, take it out, start shape, start lathering with it, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, the brush is, don't underestimate the brush, the brush is actually phenomenal. for another pass and another reason why I like this brush because it has a smaller head on it uh, this has a very broad head this has a smaller head and for those who hate getting shaving cream above up above your or underneath your your nose you don't have that problem with this brush uh, it's 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 small but it's like a medium, well, like a small medium. So it's it, it's the perfect size to get into areas, and it's so nice. It is. It's it's definitely, 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 definitely uh, a better brush.
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And I still had like two shades left on this brush. Let me wash it out. That's just me beating the bush. Alright. So, why should you get this brush? Simple. It's a very nice compact brush. For those who love to travel, me personally, I, you know, I travel three hours every so often to go visit my father in Sanford. You know, I'd much rather take this than this. Um, much rather take this than this. Um, it's, it's a, it's a softer shape, it's a softer brush, uh, but I also feel it's more aggressive. Uh, not aggressive on your face, but creating a lather, it does a better job. It really does. It makes lathering easier, is what I'm trying to say. Um, another reason why you should get it is because it's just a, overall a good brush. It's good quality. It does have some good weight to it. It really does. You know, this, this brush, believe it or not, is heavier than this one. And this one could swallow this brush. So it's, it feels, you know, quality. Um, another thing that I noticed, how long, uh, which one dries faster? Because for those who don't know, I leave my brushes like this. And I let them air dry. I know everybody says you you supposed to leave them like that. I've had this for two years, and I leave them like this. I just leave them to air dry. Um, I did notice that this does take a little while, well, a little longer to air dry than the uh, the bowl brush does, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm just just I'm just letting you guys know, you know. If you come and you go and you touch your brush on accident, it feels as if, um, it, it, you know, it's not drying. It is. It just takes a little bit longer. Now, this is something I want to want to read to you guys. Um, uh, it's, it's here. Let me see if I can't find it. Some brushes are made with uh, inferior synthetic materials. Others are made from badger or boar hair. A process that requires killing the animal to harvest their hair. Our shave brush is made from 100% cruelty... Mm, I'm going to butcher that word. Cruelty-free horse hair. Removed uh, ethically through natural grooming with no harm or discomfort to any animal. So, basically, uh, common sense would tell you, if you guys know anything about boars, but this boar is dead. Okay, it died. Because it's Kramer, it's just an absolutely amazing company, and I still stand by them today, um, this horse is still alive it's he's, he's out there somewhere and i'll tell you what because i know this that this horse is still alive i'm gonna name this horse jimmy so this brush is gonna be called jimmy <laughs> but yes uh this is a cool tea free brush and you know for some of you guys y'all don't really care but to some of you you really do care that's why you guys don't actually buy natural brushes because you guys know that animal would have to die uh it's a cruelty free brush uh basically if you guys don't know if you've ever if you've never brushed a horse it, you know it's just like human hair you know you get a couple um that's how they do it and it is a very 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 nice brush very nice very soft but not too soft not too soft at all and it's still not even broken in yet like i said no wild scent to it so that's the review 
on the Cramo Spanish Horse Held Brush. If you guys want to get one for yourself, go over to www.cramocompany.com uh, and go over there and uh, pick you up someone. They also have a huge variety of other stuff from post shave to shaving cream to body wash to shampoo. You know, if you guys go to Walmart, y'all or CVS, y'all guys see these a lot. Uh, they have a lot more on their website. They also have them in a tub. So just go over there, knock yourself out, try it out. The brush is on there too. And uh, give them a holler. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And um, as always guys, have a great day. And God bless.